Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Yami. Today is the first time here. My name is Yami Cash. I hope you are doing super well. So in today's video, we are making fajita, a simple rice recipe. It is a Mexican cuisine made with simple ingredients. It is similar to jollof rice, but this rice recipe doesn't use tomatoes or tomato paste. So let's begin with how to make this fajita rice. You are going to love it. To begin with, grab some lean meat and cut them into smaller sizes. Make sure you wash them very well. After that, put them in a bowl and add in all your spices. I'm going to be leaving the list of all the ingredients and the spices I used in this video down in the description section so the last thing to add in is some salt to taste and then give it a very good stir make sure every piece of the meat is well coated with all the spices once you're done with it cover it with a plastic rubber and marinate it for about 15 minutes once the meat is marinating it is time to cook the rice i'm using yasmin rice for this recipe in fact i'm doing this fajita rice the way i make it at home okay you can use basmati rice or pebbled rice depends on the type of rice you have pour water into it and then add one tablespoon of coconut oil also add some amount of salt to it give it a stir cover it and cook the rice till it is well cooked into a pan heat about one tablespoon of coconut oil and then start adding into it the marinated meats so basically what you're going to do is to pan fry the meat for about 20 to 25 minutes on a medium heat All right whilst you're pan frying the meat take this opportunity to subscribe to the channel like this video and share it out there someone might need it after 15 minutes of pan frying the meat pour into it some water give it a stir cover it and allow it to cook properly but in between the cooking time do well to be checking the meat giving it a stir so that it doesn't get burnt 15 minutes into cooking the meat and you can see how beautiful it is looking like right it is really really attractive and the color of it is really vibrant now it is time to add in some vegetables the first vegetable to add is some onions and then you give it a stir once you're done with the stirring cover it for about two minutes to cook on a medium heat So we are almost getting there. It is two minutes now. Give it a stir and then it is now time to add in the other vegetables. Before adding in the other vegetables, it is best to check whether the meat is properly done or properly cooked. You don't want to be dragging meat whilst you're enjoying your rice, right? Okay, now let's add in the other vegetables. I'm using paprika the red, yellow, and green paprika. Then you stir to mix everything very beautiful. So time to add in the cooked rice too. And then stir for everything to be well mixed. Notice that I do not add in any spices to it again. That is because the spices I used in marinating the meat was enough. So I didn't need any extra spices or salts, okay? But when you're making yours and you feel like it is the salt level or the salt consistency is not enough, you can sprinkle a little bit of salt on it, cover it for about two or three minutes, and then your fajita rice is done this step is totally optional but for garnishing sake add in some spring onions that's the chopped spring onions give it a stir off your fire and enjoy the simple yet very very delicious 
Mexican rice recipe. As always, thank you so very much for watching this video. And I hope to see you around next time for another great recipe. Until then, always remember to do everything in love. And check out the next video on this channel. Choose.